Hello, so if you're just joining me here, I'm about to finally, hopefully, unlock the Evil Within 2 Platinum Trophy after several years of trying to get this, because all I need now is the Handyman Trophy for crafting every item at least once. And I've already crafted the two half items, as well as all the crossbow different bolts that you can get. So all that's left for me to do now is do the flamethrower, magnum, assault rifle, sniper rifle bullets, the shotgun bullets, and that should pretty much be it because I'd already done the handgun bullets so that's it the craft crafting is done the handyman trophy should be popping any second now and then shortly after that I'll be getting the platinum oh yes <laughs> I've been trying to get this for ages that's uh, taking a while but come on any second now please oh shit Oh, what? No. I've crafted everything in the game. Why hasn't this unlocked? Oh my god, it's glitched. It's fucking glitched. I've done everything. I'd already did all the health and all the bolts. Oh my god, come on. Let's just try them again. Oh, please. I've done them multiple times. I've already got all of those done. I had none of them and I've crafted all of them. Oh my god. It's glitched. It's fucking glitched. Now, great, I can't even get the fucking platinum now. It's fucking glitched. What a fucking joke. Ugh. Ugh, that is a trophy hunter's worst nightmare. Don't you just wish you knew ahead of time just how exactly you unlock those awkward trophies so that you don't miss any in your playthrough and have to do another one? Yeah, me too. I mean, trophy guides are good and all, but I would really like to be able to talk to my future self and just ask them for advice. Like, how did they get that specific trophy? What did you have to do to get that one? How did you get past that boss? Do you have any more platinum tips? You know, things like that would just really come in handy. If only I could chat to my future self who has the platinum. Hmm, now there's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, future me, so just how did you unlock the Handyman Trophy in Evil Within 2? Hmm, the sniper rifle counts towards this. Did you craft it in Chapter 3? Uh, no. N no, I, I got it in a chest really late in the game. I think it was about Chapter 15. I didn't even use it. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's your mistake right there. You see, you must get the sniper rifle in chapter 3, so once you get into the town section after going out of the safe house over Neil's, there is a building nearby that you can climb up a ladder to get onto the roof. Once you deal with the zombies up here, you'll find a soldier at the back and he has a sniper rifle which you can pick up take from him. However, there's a problem with it, as it's actually a broken sniper rifle. So in order to fix it, you'll need okay. to find some of the spare parts in order to repair the weapon. And that is what you have to do then. You get a sort of mini sort of side quest to do. And it's basically just running to the other end of the map where you'll find the parts needed to be able to fix it. So you can do that at any time within the chapter. And it's just in this little like garage shed thing. There's an infected in there that you'll need to kill, as well as a load of other goodies you can pick up. But you should see in the room somewhere a workbench, and on top of the workbench there will be the sniper rifle parts. And these this only appear if you pick up the rifle. rifle off the roof first. And once you get them, you can then craft the weapon to repair it. And the crafting of that sniper rifle actually counts as an action, a crafting thing towards the handyman trophy. So you need to do that as well as the flamethrower later on, in order to get all the things crafted for the trophy. That is rid 
ridiculous. So why did the game put the sniper rifle later on if I had to get it in chapter 3? And why couldn't I just craft it in chapter 15 instead? That is so dumb. But you know what? Thankfully, the game has a new game plus option. And it's not going to take me too long. Maybe an hour or so to get back to chapter 3. And once I'm there, I'll go up onto the roof. I'll kill that zombie. And then I'll pick up that broken sniper rifle. What? It's not there. It's not fucking there. What the fuck? Oh my god. No. What is going on here? Where is it? Future me? Future me, I need your help. What's going on? Ugh, I swear I was such a noob back in the past. Getting the sniper rifle in any other chapter besides chapter 3 will prevent you from getting this trophy as you'll always pick up a working sniper rifle. So when you go back in New Game Plus, you'll always have a sniper rifle in your inventory so the game will never spawn the broken one so you'll never be able to craft it and hence you'll never be able to craft everything to get this trophy. But the game literally put the sniper rifle right in front of me. Who's not going to pick that up and think, oh wait, I can't use that yet because I need to make one in an earlier chapter, otherwise I won't get this fucking trophy. That's just fucking bullshit. The game is literally trolling you with this weapon. Why does it even count towards the crafted items? It's just fucking bollocks. Why does it ruin the fucking trophy? Fuck. Oh, I can't tell you how frustrated I was with this platinum and this fucking trophy because I was just one trophy away from the shiny platinum after ages of trying to do it. I battled through the classic mode where you could only save seven times. I did the whole hardest thing in the fucking game. This was just a simple easy trophy that should have just unlocked. I crafted everything for Christ's sake. How was I supposed to know about the sniper rifle? That is just stupid and it meant that I had to go through the whole game again on a brand new save because I didn't have any old save files to go back to before the sniper rifle was picked up. So I started from chapter one and worked my way through the game again, making sure to pick up enough parts so that I could actually craft everything as well as collecting every weapon along the way like the shotgun and the assault rifle because that's the only way you can then unlock the ammo to craft for it. And then I also had to make sure that once I got to this flamethrower boss, once I defeated him, I needed to make sure that I picked up his flamethrower, which was a broken flamethrower, because I would need to find the parts to then craft the fixed version of that a bit later on in the game. Oh my word, why do these two weapons count towards this crafted thing? I mean, this one is kind of okay, because it's in part of the story that you'll naturally see, but the other sniper rifle, you can easily miss it on that roof because you don't need to go there. Oh my word. So yes, now I would need to find two fuel tanks to be able to fix this flamethrower. So that meant playing through the game even further because I would have to get to around chapter 13 before I could see these parts spawn into the game world. Oh my bloody God, man. So I carried on and eventually found even more parts, the condensers, so I could do the ice bolt. And eventually, once I got to chapter 13, those flamethrower enemies would finally spawn in the environment. So then it was a case of taking those down. And thankfully, I was using the infinite health and one shot kill cheats. So it did make it a little bit easier. And I didn't have to worry about dying, but it was still a ball ache to after actually have to run through this game for like a fifth time after completing it so many times when I shouldn't even need to but eventually I got Just one of the flame for a fuels tanks so then it was a case of running around this area to try and find where the other guy was and eventually after a couple of minutes I found the fucker and took him out and then I could just steal his fuel tank and then go and repair the flame for her. oh my god the last piece I need. This is just stupid. This is racking up hours onto my playtime when I don't even need to do it. All because I didn't understand what this trophy was and how bullshit it is. Just why would you put the two guns tied into this trophy when you can easily miss them? And if I do pick up the other one that you're just trolling me with, why can't I pick up the broken one later on in a New Game Plus run and fix it and just have two in my inventory of the same thing? I wouldn't care. Fucking hell. What a massive oversight. 
Oh my god. So, with the flamethrower repaired, I then just need to carry on playing through the game because I also need to actually beat the game in order to unlock the magnum weapon. So that meant going from chapter 13 all the way to the end of chapter 17 to finally beat the game. And then that would unlock the brass knuckles and the magnum for me to use because you can't craft the magnum bullets until you beat the game and get the magnum so then you have to go into new game plus to go and do that so that whole playthrough took me five and a half hours so that was another five and a half hours onto this game that didn't even need to be just so i could get the magnum making sure i had the sniper and the flamethrower as well as all the other weapons items and everything there so I could craft them all in the new game plus run. My god, what a ball ache this simple trophy was. So I then started a new game plus run and quickly sped my way through chapters 1 and 2 to get back to chapter 3 so I could finally go through the mirror and go to the workbench and craft everything to hopefully unlock this fucking trophy. My god, when I got here I was really nervous because I really didn't want this to mess up again. And one by one I crafted every single item, all of the basic ammo types for the machine gun, the assault rifle, the sniper rifle, the shotgun, the flamethrower, the handgun, and then all of the crossbow bolts, the electric shock one, the smoke, the explosive, the normal harpoon and the freeze bolt, and then the two medical items, the syringe and health pack. Oh my god. When I crafted that last one, my my heart was in my fucking palm of my hand. I could feel it beating out of my chest. I was so nervous as I just waited and waited. And eventually, eventually, that trophy popped. And I finally unlocked the Handyman trophy and the Platinum. But what a bullshit that was. And that's why it gets a bullshit rating of... Future me. I've heard enough of you. Take that! Okay, right, I just want to point out something before this countdown ends. This was another thing I noticed when it was rendering. The Handyman Trophy description states, crafted every type of item at least once. And the last time I checked game, there was a difference between a weapon and an item. So, why the fuck doesn't it say, crafted every type of item and the two weapons at least once? At least then I would know that there was more than just the item. And I actually had to look out for these two specific, very specific weapons to find. Oh my god, it's just so, so fucking dumb. I just can't believe this fucking trophy made me waste so much fucking time replaying it. Ugh. Anyway... I used to have got that off my chest. We can get on with the rest of the countdown now because I've got some well, I've got some cleaning up to do. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. It's all bullshit. Oh shit! 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 shit.